Hey, what's up, guys? Um, so, uh, like when I did the Lumberyard Film Festival DVD Things review, I'm gonna do a uh, overview and overview of uh, of uh, Trump Dance Film Festival, which I uh, attended the second day of this past uh, Saturday, and uh, there were 22 films that showed in total. I caught was it uh, 14 of them. So yeah, um, second day was 14 of them, so here we go, uh, I'll go through them as uh, they were shown. So first they showed was one called Nemesis, which was about a guy, which was a very funny one, it was about a guy, a lot of these are online, I'll say which ones I looked back up online and found, but uh, first one was Nemesis, which was about a guy who wanted, who uh, always wanted superpowers, but then he realized, uh, what was it, he, he realized uh, well, he just wants superpowers, basically, and he's wants to be a superhero, and he's looking for a uh, person to be his nemesis, so he puts up ads for uh, looking for a nemesis, just to uh, mess with him and everyday things, like, I don't know, it's hard to explain, uh, just look it up, I'll, it's just called Neme look up Nemesis, oh fuck it, I'll put a link in the bottom, but it's a, it's a very funny short film, uh, it's about nine minutes long, and uh, I don't know, it, it's very enjoyable. Uh, from what I understand, it's from the same guys who did another one. It's from the same guy who did another one that showed later, which was even better. Yeah. Uh, next one was Dirty Martini, which was a 24-minute uh, documentary on burlesque, and it was all right. Um, it could have been a lot more interesting. It was mainly the main girl kind of repeating herself over a lot of uh, footage of burlesque. So, I mean, I, I get it. It's a art. It's a new art form. It's a, another way to express yourself. I wish they kind of dug deeper into it. But, uh, and next one was a, a funny little short film called uh, Pie of the Day, which I'm sure you can find on here by uh, Victoria Cook. And it's, it's, uh, it's pretty much a cat and rabbit uh, fighting over a piece of pie, so that was funny. Uh, yeah, and then the next one was one of my favorites there. And that is, it was a fake trailer from uh, Canada, and it's a, it's nine minutes long, so it's a little too long to be a fake trailer. But it's it's so funny that uh, I kind of just ignored the fact that it was a little too long to be a fake trailer. But that's Laser Ghosts to Return to Laser Cove, and it was in the style of uh, those those late uh, late '80s, early '90s, really bad action movies uh, that were mainly direct to video. So uh, that was funny. There's another, so uh, yeah, I looked that up. Uh, the next one is uh, Sinkhole, directed by Eric Sherbarth, and uh, it was like 13 minutes. It was pretty funny. I mean, I've seen it. Same thing done before. It's about a salesman who uh, tries to sell to this guy somewhere in this abandoned part of Pennsylvania, and uh, in the end, the guy's like trying to negotiate with this guy, and uh, I don't know. It, it's hard to ex like kind of I don't know. Uh, and it turns out the guy he's uh, selling to is like this creature and he's telling this whole story of how he saw this uh, face one night and then he's like chaining himself in the uh, barn and then turns into the creature and scares the shit out of the salesman and I guess kills him. So I mean that was good, that was a decent one. Uh, next one was uh, The Golden Nazi Vampire of Absin Part 2, The Secret of Kotlitz Cotil Castle, which was... Uh, it was a 45 minute long short film, it wasn't that great, really, it was way too over the top, it was funny at first, and then just kind of, okay, I've had enough of this, uh, but it's, it's about this guy who's, uh, hired by, who's, he's a supernatural investigator for the, uh, for, uh, this, uh, group of, this group that's trying to take down the Third Reich, and, uh, they're trying to expose and destroy uh, these Nazi vampires in this castle. I don't know, it got way too at the top and way too stupid. Uh, I don't know, it wasn't that great. Uh, the next one was a very slow one, which I really liked, and I'm not gonna go too far. This one's also on, uh, YouTube. It's called The Devil, and it is directed by Andrea Lodovicetti. And, uh, it's from Italy, and it's 14 minutes long. And, uh, uh, I don't know how to explain this one, but it's, it's, it's a very, very funny I have a very funny, what the fuck am I talking about? I'm sorry, it's kind of late. Uh, it's a very, very well done, dramatic, like, 
a short film that uh, has a lot of great build-up, and that was a nice change of pace from the Nazi one. So anyway, yeah. Next one was Zombies and Cigarettes, another, uh, another one from Spain, and that was 17 minutes, and uh, another one, so many things, the ending really pissed me off, and this is just about a, a break of them all. There's so much stuff that happens for no reason they don't touch upon. Uh, later, like, one of the main girl gets bitten in the leg, and then you just never go back to that. There's no point for that. Uh, I don't know, some things the camera work on my nerves. The foley was awful. Uh, it was just not that great. Uh, next one was, uh, Mill Bay, which was a really interesting, interesting short film about, uh, this guy named Mill Bay, or Mike, no, 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 I'm fucking stupid. His name isn't Mill Bay, that's, I don't know. It's, a uh, about this guy and his grandmother still lives with him, it's, it's hard to explain exactly. It's just very weird and experimental, but I liked it. I, it's like six minutes long. It's very, very short. And after that is one called Mina, which, nah, that was pretty bad. It's about a family of cannibals, and it was just kind of stupid and not, not funny. It tried too hard to be funny, so, yeah. And this was one of my favorite ones, and I was not expecting this to be as funny as it was, because uh, I remember seeing this in the booklet and just being like, oh god, this is going to be really raunchy and over the top, but it ended up being one of the funniest ones there, and it's called Small Penis. It's from the same guy who did uh, Nemesis, and while Nemesis was really funny, Small Penis was hilarious. Uh, it's about a man who goes to an AA meeting of uh, people who, uh, who uh, have small penises as their problem, and... It, from there on, there's more to the story, but it's pretty funny. Look it up. It's uh, it's from uh, Stian Hafstad. So yeah. Okay, and then the last official one that I really that they showed along with everything else was uh, my fa this was actually my favorite one there, which was Four, uh, Four Thieves and the Not So Sweet Shop, which I can't find the full thing online. I've only found the trailer, but it's uh, about a bunch of thieves who try to steal. It's, it's done. The thing that it reminded me of was uh, mainly things like Delicatessen and City of Lost Children, but it's uh, about a, uh, yeah, four thieves, and they try to steal the world's largest uh, gumball from, uh, or no, gobstopper from uh, this old man's sweet shop, but the guy has set up so many traps, and it starts out as a very, very, I mean, it is a very childish uh, short film, but then it gets very brutal and bloody once the uh, traps go off, so it's like Saw mixed with uh, a very demented, even more de demented version of Willy Wonka Saga. So then then there were two more short films that uh, showed right before they premiered Human Centipede, which I'll get to reviewing another time, but the first one was uh, uh, Whiplash, which was a music video for Naked City song, if you don't know what Naked City is, it's the uh, song, I mean it's the band that John Zorn was in, and it's a uh, third, twenty, yeah it's a thirty second song, and it's pretty much this really, really fuzzy, out-of-focus video of some, the guy getting something done to the genitals. It was fucking weird, and we all stood there. It was a great way to open Human Centipede, though, here, and if you don't know what Naked City sounds like, look them up. They're, they're fucking crazy. But, um, yeah. And the next one was 12 Minute. If you don't know who Mark M is, I remember years and years ago seeing some of his stuff on Newgrounds, but apparently he's made it big. And he's gotten some stuff in Trump Dance now, and uh, it's just a... Uh, I love the description right here, some cartoons I made. Uh, instead of just the plot, but it's, uh, it's funny. It's a bunch of different short short cartoons, and they weren't really weren't that funny. Really, they... Mainly, I was laughing because everyone else was laughing, and it was a great atmosphere. And it, it, it was a great way to open up Human Centipede, because it was so weird and just incredibly out of nowhere, but the, really the only one that I probably would rewatch and laugh now is the J. Diddy one, which was uh, about Jesus, but yeah. Anyway, uh, yeah, and then they showed Human Centipede, so anyway, that was a uh, Trauma Dance, or the second day of Trauma Dance, New Jersey. So uh, anyway, that's my review. Uh, peace.